All right, have you guys ever had felt the, like, felt something at your fingertips just trying to pull you in and you're trying to fight back and trying, it's just trying to pull you in and you can't do much to stop it? Well, I've had this feeling many, many times. Um, it's a great feeling to me and it's just really awesome. Um, uh, fishing is an uh, exhilarating, adrenaline-filled experience that will leave you with excitement and accomplishment. Um, in this, er, I will tell you, to show how awesome fishing is, I'll tell you about the rods, reels, and then finally, some of the different baits you can use to catch the fish. Alright, um, right here, this is Quantum brand fishing. Pretty big brand. Um, it's pre really good quality. They have a whole bunch of different, mostly rods and reels. They don't have any baits, but... Um, St. Croix, um, they're really, really, really expensive. Um, I've been looking online and I just found a single rod that was about $350 and that's without the reel. So, they're, I've never used one before, so I, don't, I just hear people say how good they are. Um, Shakespeare, it's a little bit lower. It's not quite as good, but they're still, like, basically any rod you have is a good rod, depending on what you're fishing for. Um, there's spinning rods, bait casting rods, and a spin cast rod. They're all different. Bait casting rod would be this one right here. Because you have the reel sits on top and your guides are on top. This is spinning because your guides are on the bottom and you don't have a, a reel seat like that. Now that I talked to you about uh, re our rods, I'm going to move on to the reels. Um, right here, this is a brand Quantum. I have that exact reel um, for my bait for my bait casting rod, it's really nice. These are the hardest one, hardest reels to use because they are free spool, which means after your bait hits the water, it keeps, the line keeps coming out because it's so smooth because they have so many bearings. Um, you have, right here you have braking. You can put brakes on and stuff. Um, right here, I don't know what that's called, but you have to adjust that every time you use, um, put on a different bait because if it's heavier you want that tighter so it doesn't because if it's loose it'll free spool so the way you tell this is you hold it your bait just off your rod and you just let go and if it goes down without you doing anything it, you need to tighten it up you want it to where you can just shake it and it just slowly goes down that's perfect um, this is a spinning reel that's the most popular um, <coughs> All you do for these is you have to flip, it's called the bail. You flip that up and then you just cast it out and then you start reeling and this flips back down and your line rests in here and it <coughs> goes around. Um, I have that exact reel too. It's really nice. Um, these aren't expensive, but they can, well I guess they can be. Um, that reel right there is about like 70 bucks, which is pretty cheap in fishing reels. Um, this is a spin cast or close face reel. It's probably the reel you grew up using because they're really easy. All you do is press this button right here and just cast and then the reel. You don't have to flip the bail or anything. Um, and they're the cheapest and they don't really work that good at all. Um, now that we talked about the reels, I'm gonna move on and talk about the different baits. Right here, these are crank baits. Um, you can use them to catch walleye, northern pike, uh, bass. Um, depending on the size, you can p catch pretty much any kind of fish. Um, the right here, see how this is a lot of a bigger bill than this. That goes a lot deeper. That's a square bill, and this goes probably like five foot. That's probably close to twelve. This really small. This like wobbles. I that where it looks really good. It's about four foot, that's about five, and that's lipless, so that means it doesn't have a lip, and you can reel faster, slower, and then it'll go deeper, shallower. Um, uh, right here, soft plastics, those are tubes. Um, we got a brush hog or a creature bait, a uh, craw, and a uh, worm. All these are used to catch mostly bass, but you can catch, these work really good for smallmouth, but that's about 
I guess you can catch all those things, but it's not that popular. Um, to fish these, all you do is for these three, um, you Texas rig it, which you have like a big hook, so about that big, and you hook it and you slide it up on the shank, and then your hook sits under it, and you hook it up to the top, and you just let it sink to the bottom and bring it up and down, and they work really good. These, you take a jig head, you stick it up in the tube, and just bounce on the bottom. Um, these are some live baits. Um, you got your night crawler, worm, uh, crawdad, you have a minnow, you can use chubs, leeches, tadpoles, um, frogs, all of those work really good. Um, I don't use that many natural, I don't use that many <laughs> real um, baits um, because I just don't. I might, I use a night crawler once in a while or I'll use a minnow, but that's usually about all I use. Um, in conclusion, now you can tell why fishing is a fun, exhilarating, adrenaline-filled experience that will leave you with a sense of accomplishment. And so the next time you feel something pulling and trying to get away at your fingertips, you know that you have a fish and you should admire that moment because it's really awesome.